Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Then if you would, open with me in your Bible. I want to talk to you once again uh, from the book of Proverbs about giving to the poor. For those of you that might be visiting or watching online, we don't have a formal offering collection during our service. Uh, People give online through text message, also through our website, as well as here at the physical facility, we have offering container uh, in the building. Um, But although we don't have a, a formal offering collection time, we do take time to remind ourselves what the Bible says about giving uh, so that those who do give, give in faith. It is also so that we can exercise faith for prosperity because it's God's will for every one of us to prosper financially. Amen. So with that in mind, I want to encourage you about giving to the poor. In Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17, it says, He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord, and he will pay back what he is given. He will pay back what he is given. Then in Proverbs chapter 22, in verse number 9, it says this, He who has a generous eye will be blessed, for he gives of his bread to the poor. He gives of his bread to the poor. And then Proverbs chapter 28, another verse in the book of Proverbs on the subject. He says, he who gives to the poor will not lack, but he who hides his eyes will have many curses. I want to talk to you today from the question, when do you give to the poor? Uh, when the Lord unctioned me uh, to minister in this direction uh, for a number of weeks, it really startled me because I thought for myself, do I give to the, to the poor individually? I'm not talking about faith family, but uh, as your pastor, uh, in, in our weekly giving, in our monthly giving, in our annual giving, when we analyze it, when, when Marquita and I look at it, it is a question actually to be asked. We give to the church. But the Bible didn't say that he who gives to the church will not lack. We give to ministries that we partner with, that we receive from. But the Bible doesn't say that he who has a generous eye will be blessed, for he gives of his bread to ministries that he receives from and his partnership with. So the question, do I give to the poor, really hit home? And, I st- and I'm starting to, and I'm asking you to, over the next weeks, to really analyze your life in the light of these scriptures. On December 12th, we are going to have a special offering to benefit the poor, specifically. It'll be the first time ever. It'll be an annual thing that we'll do. It'll be a special benevolence offering. The goal and the idea of this offering is simply to benefit those that are less fortunate. We always have faith projects. Oftentimes, our faith projects are set, whether directly or indirectly. And any time you give, whether directly or indirectly, is going to benefit you. But, but there ought to be times when we specifically give for someone else's benefit. I want to really focus on Proverbs chapter 22 and verse number 9 and look at it from different He who has a generous eye will be blessed, for he gives of his bread to the poor. You know, growing up, um, 
we used to call bread, uh, we used to call money dough. I got some dough or cheddar. One guy from Detroit called it shrilla. Cheese, money, dough. <laughs> Do you give of your money? He's you know, talking about his natural bread, but, you know, we bring it on forward. For he gives of his money to the poor. Do you give of your money to the poor? Look at this in the New Living Translation. Blessed are those who are generous. Listen to this. Because they feed the poor. Now, I'm not talking about that. And and maybe it is, and I've done it. You know, where I'll see somebody, and most of the time when I see people on the street holding up the sign, first of all, it's hard to look at them. Because it makes me feel sad. Then is it about me or is it about them? But man, I mean, they, they're there and they, they, they look tattered. And, I, you know, I've had some experiences in life that have led me to be very skeptical about giving to people on the street. I remember one time uh, I was a young adult working while I was in college. I was in Detroit, pulled up at an intersection off of the freeway. And uh, sure enough, there was a guy there standing with, with uh, crutches. Uh, obviously, he had been amputated. And uh, man, you know, people gave him some money. I remember another time I pulled up at that intersection, there was a, a total gas station. I don't know if you all remember that. But it was a total gas. This, this was back when gas was like 88 cents a gallon. And I pulled over. And again, I'm a college student. And I don't know if you've ever done this, but I emptied my ashtray out of the coin hmm, to get some gas. And this guy came in with a wad of money trying to break the the bills down. Oh, y'all got to help me in this church. Y'all going to be quiet on me. I'm serious. I mean, you know what a bankroll is? Okay, he came and he had a bankroll and my eyes just got so big. You know, and, and it really marked me. Obviously, I'm telling you this story probably 30 years later. Um, and so there have been things. So I don't always give them. There have been times I had a strong unction and I'll give. But think about that. If you've done that out of 52 weeks in the year, how often have you given a dollar or two or five or ten to somebody holding up a sign. I would imagine if you're like me, that's very rare. So the Spirit of God is asking you today, when do you give to the poor? Let's say your individual annual income is $100,000. And even if you did it on a weekly basis where you gave a dollar here or a dollar there. Let me keep reading. Because they feed the poor. NIV says, the generous will themselves be blessed. How many of you want the blessing of the Lord to be upon your life? All right. Well, we're talking about being generous. For they share their food with the poor. And then here in the New English translation, it says, a generous person will be blessed For he gives some of his food to the poor. Uh, As I conclude this, I want to encourage you to prayerfully consider, as you go into the new year, giving to the poor on a regular basis. And we need to talk about that because I'm not talking about regularly rolling the window down and giving people money. I actually don't recommend that. But there ought to be times... You can play something softly. Okay. There ought to be times when we are regularly. Oh, I hope you get this. There ought to be times as a church where we are regularly giving to the poor. So last week we asked the question, do you give to the poor? This week we're asking, when do you? So start to think about that. There's a few other questions uh, that we'll ask along that line. Obviously, we're encouraging you to pray about December the 12th. 
uh, because what comes in on that day is going to be specifically set aside in a benevolence fund and is for individuals who are less fortunate. Amen. And we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, in a matter of time. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Well, let's prepare our hearts uh, for those that have given this week. We want to pray a prayer of blessing over you. Uh, of course, each week we give you an update of uh, our faith and things that we have believed God for. Uh, as you all know, we are preparing ourselves to sow into other, in church, to other churches and ministries that need facilities. Amen. So one day that we can have our own facility. Let me echo this while I'm, while I'm saying this. The vision of Faith Family Church is to grow, become great, and help others. We're really at a place now where we're growing, but I long for the day and I look for the day when not only do we become great, but we can be in a position to help others. How many of you know if you barely have enough to make it through this week, you're not in a position to give to the poor. Come on this side. How many of y'all know this is the reason why we should talk about prosperity? This is the reason why we should talk about abundance. This is the reason why we should talk about having more than enough. This is the reason why we should understand every scripture in the Bible about money. Why? So that we could be in a position where we could be a blessing to those that are less fortunate. It is God's vision for this church to be able to help people that are less fortunate. So we've got to get there ourselves. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen.